Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In this video, I will be showing you how we can make a connective rod. I don't have a 2D drawing for this. I will just uh, take out my examples. So with a blind dimensions, I'm going to do it. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, share my videos. So let's get started. We'll just go to new file and uh, create a new file. So here comes our uh, 3D environment. So let's create a sketch. So I'll select the base plane and I'll click OK. So this will take you to the sketcher environment. I'll just switch off uh, continuous auto dimensioning as well. So and, uh, take a circle and make a diameter of 42, making 42 diameter. Mm. Click dimension and uh, give a dimension for this as a uh, 42 click OK and now I'll just finish the sketch and let's go to 3D and what I will do is I will just extrude this allow around 25 mm so what I will do is I will just give a symmetric value on both sides so it will be 25 by 2 and let's make it as none and click OK so you can see here one uh, cylinder red is ready and I need to create one more cylinder for that. I'll just go to sketcher environment again and uh, click OK. We can make uh, these two sketches in the single sketch itself. It's uh, your wish. So let's go into the sketcher environment and let's create a circle of diameter 24. Okay, yeah. As you can see here, uh, they're not aligned so what I will do is I will click on a constraint geometric constraint and this point on a curve this point should be on this curve as you can see here and the distance between these points to circle to this circle is let's make it as 100 click ok you can see here this is now fully constrained let's finish the sketch and now let's uh, extrude this as well so similarly the same way I will be extruding this okay now we have got uh, two cylinders now what I will do is I will go to the same plane on the sketch you can make a single sketch uh, for all these uh, operations if you want so in order to make it easier I am just taking uh, single single sketches individually now I will uh, create the edges so let's go to select a line and uh, click a line between these two and make sure that these lines are uh, tangent to the cylinders so as you can see here tangent constraint is already existing so I'll just finish the sketch and let's make this extrude extrude select extrude and make sure this single curve is selected and point at intersection is selected so let's select these curves to make an extrude now we have preview switch on and let's make it as 5mm and united should be on this body so what has happened to this now we can see this the body is generated click ok now this body and this body is united but this is not united with anyone so let's unite this body with this so that it will become a single body now what i need is uh, i just need a cutout here so let's go to sketcher element and select this and uh, now what i will do is i will just offset the curves so this this curve i will be offsetting by 4 mm and click ok and this is also by 4 mm this is also by 4 mm this is also by 4 mm as you can see here, uh, we got uh, offset curves now what i have to do is i will just remove the constraint offset constraint and then i will trim it otherwise we cannot trim it i have already discussed this with the offset command so let's delete this now we can able to trim so let's select a trim command using the t and then trim it okay it's still okay 
as you can see here uh, we need a cutout here so i'll just go to extrude and uh, select this connected curve let's select, select this and in the opposite direction of 2.5 mm that is enough so let makes this as a subtract so it will be subtracted as you can see here this is subtracted so now I, I want the same extrude on the opposite side so what i will do is i will use the mirror feature command mirror feature where is the mirror feature let's go to menu insert and associative copy and here is the mirror feature so let's go to mirror feature and uh, select the feature you want to mirror and select the plane and click ok as you can see here this is also mirrored now uh, we have almost done 80 percent of the connecting rod let's uh, make a edge blend for these so go to edge blend and uh, select the edges to make uh, edge blend so let's give it as a 2 mm this as well as 2 mm click ok so now we have this is this let's make insider as well as a 0.5 mm ok same way I will select on the other side as well So we'll give this as well. Edge blend. Let's select this. And the other side as well. I'll just select. Now I'll just give this edge. Oh, oh, by mistake I have selected the different edge. So let's reset this. Now select the corner edge. So this should not be 0.5. Let's make it as 0.5. And let's make this as well as 0.5. this also 0.5 and then it is also 0.5 so now you can see this uh, is done similarly you can make it on the other side as well and uh, I'm just uh, going ahead with the, the other uh, edge blends as well so let's select this edge blend this and this let's make it as 2m and the same thing I'll do on the other side as well. Oh shit. To deselect any curves, you can uh, set, select uh, shift and then select the curve. So it will be deselected. As you can see here, this is done and now we left with the edge blend on the cylinders. So let's go to edge blend and uh, make edge blend here as well click ok now we left with two uh, holes so let's make a holes in a single sketch select the plane and now select this let's make it as 15 mm and here it is let's make it as 10 mm and uh, make this to be concentric width and finish the scar. Now I will do extrude and cut out. You can use command as well when I already discussed the whole command as you can do you can also do whole command but I prefer uh, the extrude since it is a simple hole. So now you can see this uh, just hide the sketches by using the control W. So it is taking the time plus sketch will be hidden 
you can see here the connecting rod is done you can make a similar uh, edge blenders on the other side as well so this is our edge blend please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button